Hey everybody, welcome on back to the read-through of Eloquent JavaScript, and we're going to continue with chapter one. Uh, below the surface of the machine, the program moves. Without effort, it expands and contracts. In great harmony, electrons scatter and regroup. The forms on the monitor are but ripples on the water. The essence stays invisibly below. Master Yuan Ma, the book of programming. I love those little quotes. So anyway, chapter one, values, types, and operators. Inside the computer's world, there is only data. You can read data, modify data, create new data, and decide whether you're going to say data or data, or never really choose. But that which isn't data cannot be mentioned. All this data is stored as long sequences of bits and is thus fundamentally alike. Bits are any kind of two-valued thing, usually described as zeros and ones. Inside the computer, they take forms such as high or low electrical charge, a strong or weak signal, or a shiny or dull spot on the surface of a CD. Any piece of discrete information can be reduced to a sequence of zeros and ones and thus represented in bits. For example, we can express the number 13 in bits. It works the same way as a decimal number, but instead of 10 different digits, you only have two. And the weight of each increases by a factor of two from right to left. Here are the bits that make up the number 13 with the weights of the digits shown below them. So we have 0 128th, 0 64th, 0 32nd, 0 16th, 1 8th, 1 4th, um, well, I guess you wouldn't call it a fourth, you'd call it one four. So like one eight, one four, zero two, one one, which is wildly difficult to comprehend. Uh, but that's the binary number zero 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 one one zero one. It's a non-zero digit stands for eight, four, and one, uh, and so it adds up to thirteen. Uh, so quick note, you'll notice that this bits word is in italics. A lot of those words and other key information I had inputted the first time I went through here uh, into um, you know, any kind of, basically like a vocab list. Uh, since a lot of the videos were scrapped, some of these are gonna look like this, where I show you a completed list. Other ones are going to show an incomplete list where I'm completing it as the video goes. For now though, this is the set of vocab for the introduction and chapter one. And you don't need to worry about being able to read this right now. I'm gonna include a link to a markdown file that'll have all of this. So not to worry. Uh, but yeah, that's it for the introduction. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.